Hi everyone, who's ready for some more summer wines and maybe some fall wines from Purple Toad? Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. To my viewers, my subscribers, thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. It means so much to me to have you guys stop in and spend a few minutes of your day with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you would consider hitting that little red subscribe button before you go. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos today. We are doing a wine diary Friday. So you know how I love Purple Toad Winery, Paducah, Kentucky, one of my favorite wineries for sweet wines in the world. Yeah, well, I haven't been all over the world for sweet wines, but Paducah, Kentucky, oh my God, Purple Toad Winery, so, so good. So I happened to find them a couple of years ago during, you know, the height of COVID here. I just fell in love with this place. I've never been there. I would love to go there someday. So if Purple Toad, if you guys are watching, if you wanted to get me out there, I would love to go out and see you guys. Yeah, that would be awesome. So anyway, they have got some really, really fun flavors. One of my favorites from them is a strawberry jalapeno wine. It is a sweet wine with a kick of jalapeno it's not too hot it's not too sweet it's sweet and then you get the heat of the jalapeno it's one of my favorites i took that to work um the first few times I've, i bought it it was always the one that everybody liked i oh my god the paducah peach oh my gosh i have got another bottle of paducah peach that i'm dying to open but i'm trying to get a few more bottles of peach wines to have another battle of the peach wines part two but i'm pretty sure that paducah peach wine is going to win so anyway they had a sale in july i bought some more wines yeah you know i had to so i have got some fall wines they've got the pumpkin spice that i'm dying to try i've tried to get it last fall it was sold out it's on their website again i tried to get it in july it's still sold out so i'm hoping when they do finally bring it back it's going to be one of the fall wines i get to taste so this is one that I got for fall and I've tried to get this like two or three times before and it's always sold out probably because I usually wait till fall but they had it so I got it I'm going to butcher the name so I'm going to call it glue wine right so it's a spiced wine so this is a red wine it's got cinnamon clove allspice some other spices in it it's supposed to serve it warm this sounds like the perfect fall wine to be sitting around a campfire when it's a little bit chilly outside the fall is there you got the christmas in the air and the leaves are falling and this sounds perfect so i picked this up gonna wait till fall to try it i'm so excited that i finally got it like i said i've tried a couple of years in a row now and i've never had luck getting it the other one that i got for this fall is caramel apple though so, you know i might not be able to wait to fall um caramel apple apple wine with caramel flavor you know this one's going to be a good one as well so i'm going to set this aside for my fall flavors i got a couple of bottles for some summer fun wine so one is uh, huckleberry never had the huckleberry wine before this is a limited edition i think it's the first time that i've seen it on this site they only made 400 cases so when those 400 cases are gone so is this so huckleberry wine looking forward to trying that one and sangria i've had their sangria before this is really really good as well i love sangria wine so it's this one is made with chardonnay it's mixed with their blackberry wine their peach wine and the strawberry wine so just all those flavors i would love to um, maybe take this either to work or to my neighbors put it in a pitcher with some fresh fruit i think this is going to be perfect another great summer wine 
All right, so the one I decided to open, and my hair is driving me crazy. I never know which way it's going, and I have put a ton of hairspray in, but it is hot and humid. So the one that I picked, I've never had this one before, so I'm excited to try it. I already took the cork out. This is Angela's Black Cherry. And this one, they say, is named for, I think, their oldest daughter. So again, they're in Patuka, Paducah, Kentucky. Sometimes I put an extra syllable in there. I have no idea why. The ones used to always be like $13.77. They did go up this year, so they're like $14.15. Uh, free shipping at $50. They ship to a lot of states. Not all of them, sorry. They do ship to mine, so that makes me very, very happy. So I've got my cherry wine. And of course, I mounted uh, some snacks tonight. So I still have those, that open box of the onion blossoms. So I put them in the air fryer. It's got kind of that spicy mustard sauce. And, and I've got some egg rolls. So I got some egg rolls and the sweet and sour sauce. So looking forward to having my snacks and looking forward to trying the black cherry wine. I think I also have in the refrigerator. I think I've got peach berry. I've got regular Paducah peach. I think I've got strawberry lemonade and maybe another flavor. I'll take them out. Who knows when? They'll be good. So anyway, I'm gonna check this out. This is a deep, deep color. Look how deep this is. It's deep purple. Mm. My mouth is watering and just thinking about it. And I think most of their wines are probably right around 12, 12%. This one's 12%. So I think they got probably all around 12, 12.5%. They have their wines rated on the sweetness scale of one to six. This comes in at a four. Again, Angela's Black Cherry. Alrighty, happy Friday, everyone. I hope you all had a fabulous week and you're ready to just let the weekend begin, relax, have some fun. Of course, sometimes the weekend is catching up on yard work, catching up on laundry, vacuuming, but hopefully you get to have some fun in there. Cheers, everyone. I don't want to depress myself. This is sweet. It's tart and sweet at the same time. It's just like one of my favorite jellies for like cooking. We'd go to the beach and you know, you have those little sandwich makers. And so we would get like some toast. Well, it was bread at the time. And you'd put it in, in the sandwich maker with some cream cheese and some cherry preserves. So, so good over the open campfire. It's like that kind of cherry. It's like cherry preserves but sweet mixed with wine so good I, I don't think it's something that you'd want to sit and drink the whole bottle at once but to have a glass like this with some appetizers I think that's doable so anyway cheers everyone thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me it really does mean a lot to me and I hope everyone goes out has a great weekend take care everyone stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life Love you guys so much. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.